Welcome to Cooking with Bobby Joe. Chastity here with another Jewel Worthy Human Treat. Today is Cast Iron Wednesday and this month's Cast Iron Challenge is something you would make for a birthday. I make a lot of different stuff for birthdays. You can look back at last month's video to see what I made Steve for his birthday and it was also in Cast Iron. We don't have any June birthdays in my family that I can think of. The next birthday will be America's birthday on July 4th. So today I'm going to show you how to make a no sugar added American flag pie. That way you'll have the recipe just in time for America's birthday. Start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. To make this pie you need a cast iron pie pan and this was a gift. It says Lodge on the handle and then 1896 on the other handle which is the year Lodge started making cast iron. On the bottom it says Lodge USA. Now you want to make sure you have a USA made cast iron to make an American flag pie in. This one's a beauty. Grease the pan. You also need two rolls of pie dough, a fourth a cup of cornstarch for the strawberries, two tablespoons of cornstarch for the blueberries, lemon juice, vanilla extract. Now I have about one and a half containers of strawberries and these are 16 ounce containers. And I have about one cup of blueberries. And you're also going to need some sugar substitute or you can use real sugar if you aren't interested in no sugar added. We are having storms today so Jack is joining me in the kitchen because my boy is scared of thunder and he feels safer when he's around mommy. Isn't he a handsome boy? Jack will be nine years old in August so he will be having our next doggy birthday cake. Okay I'm placing my strawberries on the stove over medium heat adding in three-fourths a cup of stevia I made this pie before and I only used a half a cup of stevia and it was very bitter. This time I'm going to heat up the berries on the stove, add everything in and give it a taste before I bake it. You're going to have to determine how sweet you want your berries. Some berries are naturally sweeter than others so they won't need as much stevia. So mix in the stevia, also add two tablespoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a fourth a cup of cornstarch. Mix it all together until it heats up and give it a taste. If it needs more sweetener, then add more. I'd start off with a half a cup and go up from there on the strawberries. Okay, with the blueberries, add in one tablespoon of lemon juice, a half a cup of stevia, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of vanilla, and mix it all together. With the blueberries, I start off with a fourth a cup of stevia and add more as needed. I'm starting off with a half a cup and just because I know the last pie I made I used a fourth a cup and it wasn't enough. Mix it all up, let it heat, give it a taste. Place your pie dough into the greased pie plate. And just press it down all the way around the pie plate. I also punch some holes with a fork in the bottom of the crust so it doesn't bubble up. Then on a pan covered in parchment paper, I'm rolling out the other pie dough. With a pizza cutter, I'm cutting it into strips and this is going to be the stripes of the flag. Now I'm not into perfection, but if you want it to look perfect, then take your time and make sure all the strips are evenly cut. Then you're going to use a star cutter to cut out some stars. You can use aluminum foil as a divider, but I just use graham crackers. You want to block off the corner of your pie for the blueberries. You don't want the blueberries and strawberries to run together, so you need something to divide it while it bakes. Pour in the strawberries. Now see the liquid is flowing over to the blueberry side, but that's okay. You just don't want big chunks of strawberries over there. Then pour your blueberries into the graham crackers divider side. Place it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. After it's baked for about 20 minutes, I put a pie shield over the edges of the crust to keep it from burning. 
When the crust starts to brown, place a pie shield or aluminum foil over the edges. I forgot to brush the egg over the corners of my pie crust. I always do an egg wash. Well, we'll brush it over the stars and stripes. Then I'll sprinkle some xylitol over them for a sugary texture. You don't have to do this step, I just like to do it. Place those in the oven for about 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on them after 10 minutes and once they start to brown, pull them out of the oven. Okay, now the pie has been in the oven for 40 minutes. I'm removing the top part of the graham crackers. They always burn. Then I take my stripes and break them off to fit the pie. You can measure these ahead of time and get them perfect. Like I said, I'm not into perfection. It's just going to go into our bellies soon anyway. Then you want to add your stars to the blueberries. And there you have it, an American strawberry blueberry pie with no sugar added. Then we top it with our sugar-free mason jar ice cream. I made a short video on how to make the mason jar ice cream yesterday. I'll link it above in case you missed it. Now you can also make a no carb pie crust if you want. I'm allowed to have some carbs, just no sugar. So my carbs for the day are in the pie crust. Yeah, this is a, you got the sweetness better this time. It doesn't have that sharp bitter. I think it's perfect sweet because you can taste the blueberries and you can taste the sweetness without it being too sweet or too bitter like the blueberries can be. Mm -hmm. So I think you got the ratios perfect. Okay. Drill worthy. Oh yeah. So there you have it, an American pie to celebrate America's birthday made in a beautiful lodge pie plate made in this wonderful, beautiful state of Tennessee. Don't forget to check out the other Cast Iron Wednesday videos. I'll put a link to the playlist in the video description. And you can also do a search with the pound sign. <laughs> or wait, they're not called pound signs anymore. They changed it to hashtag. Y'all remember always having to press the pound sign on the phone? I don't recall them ever calling it press the hashtag on the phone. Anyway, hashtag Cast Iron Wednesday or hashtag CIW. That'll bring up the playlist. Thanks for watching. Join us next time for more jewelworthy human and doggy treats. Y'all have a blessed week.